you gonna claim that you can fix my dark circles and my puffiness with some hemorrhoid cream, I ain't gonna judge. What type of witchcraft is this? I'm scared. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. So, last night I was watching my favorite show on USA Network. It was called uh, Chrisley Knows Best. I love me some Chrisleys, okay? So basically, long story short is, the episode, they, um, Chrisley and his family, whatever, are the directors of a pageant in Florida. So the family is all in Florida doing the whole pageant thing. And then the son has to go get a like a list for the girls, and the lady was like, Oh, make sure you pick up some hemorrhoid cream. I said the girls got hemorrhoids? The little passion girls got hemorrhoids? Okay. But then, but then the lady explained. She was like, no, hemorrhoid cream. It's for puffy eyes because they'll be stressed and not get enough sleep. So it's going to compact the puffy eyes and the dark circles. I paused the TV because I was on demand. So I paused. Did she just say the cure to my problems is hemorrhoid cream? Hemorrhoid cream? I'm not going to judge. Okay. So what did I do? I went to the store and bought some hemorrhoid cream. And we're going to try this. Because my face right now... In its current state, I'm open for anything. I ain't picky. Anything. So you guys, I just jumped out the shower. My face cleaned, toned, cleansed, toned, moisturized, serumed up. So that's all already taken care of. Now I'm at the point of my um, skincare regime where I would go in with my eye cream. So we're going to go in with our handy dandy hemorrhoid cream. Y'all, uh, please know what your skin can take and what it cannot take before you try this cream or any other product on YouTube. So. I'm black, as you can tell. And as being a black woman, I'm a little suspect on things. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, we don't just jump in to everything. So I went on Google, and Google said it was okay. So I'm like, okay, God, cause I go to you first, and you told me to go to Google, so we good. So we all good. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So I brought my hemorrhoid cream from Rite Aid. Hold on, Lola. It's like this, you know. Don't even know if you probably saw that, but whatever. It comes in this little tube, this little application. So from the research, I'm just opening it right now, you guys. So from the research that I heard, it's best if you apply it at night and let it do its thing at night so you can wake up with that <laughs> bomb bomb skin. So I was like, you know what? Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't open this and I'm scared and I usually open things with my teeth and I'm like I, I ain't getting no hair more than my mouth. Is that what this is for? What type of witchcraft is this? I'm scared. It took a little bit of work, but I finally opened it. So I'm really trying to stay all calm and copacetic, but when it really boils down to it, I'm actually fixing the pit hemorrhoid cream on my face. Like that bothers me a little bit, but I'm desperate. Picky. Oh. The way that lady looked at me when I brought this shit to the register, she said, uh-huh, sis, are you okay? You want to talk about it? I said, no. This is for my skin. Touched me even more. I said, okay. Why is it coming out like Oh. Okay, this whole thing is bothering me, so I'm just going to put it on my hands because I'm scared for my life. I hope it doesn't smell bad because I have a thing with smells. No, it doesn't. It actually smells like uh, Neosporin. Dab it into my eyes. Ooh, it has like a cooling feeling to it. First thoughts, it actually feels like my eye cream. So that's interesting. These are the bags in dark circles. You know, my skin is going through its journey and I'm on <sighs> this long term journey of getting my skin under control, right y'all? And I'm so used to going on YouTube, watching these skincare routines and seeing all these girls with like beautiful, beautiful skin. And when I exit the video, I'm still stuck with the same skin that I have, you know? And I'm like, 
they already had popping skin. I never saw them before they had popping skin. I started to feel even more insecure. I'm like, they have popping skin. They have good skincare routines. Like, what's going on with me? I want to use YouTube to document my journey of getting my skin under control. So it's like, I'm gonna show y'all like videos like this, trying different things for my skin, especially getting my dark spots on my face removed or hyperpigmentation. So if I find something like this for these, that's next. To explain better, basically I'm going to be testing out different products, bizarre products, in order to get my skin the way I want it to be, which is glowy and without um, hyperpigmentation and blemishes and all that good stuff. So I'm on a journey and I'm going to use my channel to not only help me, but help you guys. And if you have any products that you want to try for your skin, but you want me to try first, please link, um, comment it down below. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do a series of this and I'm just going to show you guys my evolution of my skin through my channel. So let's get clear and popping skin together, love bugs. So I just let it sit, you know, like this, without rubbing it in. Just let my skin absorb it. When I was doing my research, you know, in handy dandy Google, I found out that Kim Kardashian's makeup artist uses um, hemorrhoid cream for her face. I said, okay, that's what's up. And I'll be back tomorrow morning. You guys, I actually didn't have to wait until the morning time. This is about after five to ten minutes with the cream on my eyes. Um, I actually didn't have a lot of bags to begin with, so my main focus was using the hemorrhoid cream for dark circles. Now, the research told me that it's a hit or miss with the dark circles, and I see some results. With continuous use of this product, my dark circles will completely be gone. So, hemorrhoid cream is a success. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please join the family. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, love bugs.